not finding ascochyta in your crop does not mean does not mean it's not in your crop. It just means it's at a level where you can't detect it or you haven't quite got enough skill to detect it. The Ascochyta blight fungus is a plant pathogen. It attacks chickpea plants and only chickpea plants and it has the potential on a susceptible variety in a favourable season to cause 100% loss if not managed properly. He should do it about 10 to 14 days after the most recent rainfall event. It takes about that long from the time of infection for when he'll see something in his crop. And as he walks through the crop, it's important to have the sun behind him. And what they'll be looking for is something like this here, where you'll, your, your eye will be caught by a, an unusual structure in your canopy. You're not looking for individual lesions or fungal structures. You're looking for a part of the plant that doesn't look quite right. And in this case, it's a leaf where the Ascochyta fungus has got under the petiole and caused part of the leaf to start to wilt and die. And that's what you'll first see. If you're in a stubble paddock, chickpeas planted into standing wheat stubble or standing sorghum stubble, uh, early in the morning and late in the day, uh, the shadows are long and it makes it hard to see these, these symptoms on the plant. The Ascochyta fungus can infect any part of the plant, except the root system, and it usually invades on the stem where the leaf joins the stem, as you can see on this plant here, that's the part that stays wettest for longest after a rainfall event. So there's, there's the, the leaf axle, that's where the water started, and that's where the lesion started. And you can see here, the fungus has caused the stem lesion, and it's produced these little, that look like very small grains of sand, and these are the fruiting bodies. Now this is the important part of the fungus because these things produce the spores for the next infection event. So you then consult with your agronomist um, or you go to the GRDC update papers or the GRDC media release which has actually revised the recommendations for managing Ascochyta. But basically you spray your crop with a registered fungicide before the next rainfall event.